Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian here with Revenue Pro Tips. Welcome back for another Quick Tip Tuesday video of the week here on the Revenue Pro Tips channel. And today we're going to be talking quickly, guys. For those of you who are affiliate marketers out there, you know, I think some people get caught up in as to, you know, when you're coming up with offers, you're looking for opportunities to promote products and services, what is better, value or volume, right? And so this could be a little tricky, a gray area for some. Okay, so you know, my take on it, and this is what I want to share with you today, is that I don't think there's a right or wrong answer. However, I do tend to lead more so with value, okay? Um, and that is because, you know, the thought of going into online business and, and, and marketing for myself, at least, you know, is passive income, okay? I want to get to a level, and this has been my approach since I got started, was to get to a level where I could produce income without really having to engage or, or work for it much, all right? Um, so, not that I have a problem with, with working or anything like that, but I tend to notice that when you have a product or a service, whether it's online or offline, when you deliver a value, people tend to gravitate to that and come back, okay? Returning customers, returning clients who want to stick with you, okay? Value value that could be more so uh that's more so of a numbers game right the more people the 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 more people you get to see your offers your products the more you're going to sell the more money you're going to make which is great however if you want to get to a level where you're getting passive uh, uh continuous income guys you're going to want to stick with value-based products and services that way once you gain a customer once you gain a client they like what you have to offer you build you know uh, trust through what you're offering and offering something solid, and therefore something that people want to continuously have or need, um, people will continue to come back to you, okay? So I, I think you should go for both, right? You're gonna want to, as an online marketer, right? You're gonna have your, your kind of your staples, I would say, the, the core products and services that you always stick with and you always promote market. Then you're gonna have some where you're gonna look towards more so value because maybe it's with a trend you know there's some kind of trend going on so you're going to jump on that real quick and, and it's something that'll be kind of you'll be in and out in and in and out of all right um so that's where your volume is going to come I, it for me at least my perspective is your value uh volume offers are going to play more of a factor when you're again when you're kind of trend surfing i would say right so Ideally, no matter what though, you do want to offer value. Even for those trends that are coming about, if it's not something that offers some kind of value to your prospective client or customers, guys, it's not worth it, right? Because reputation is everything and you don't want to build a bad reputation. You want people to know, like, and trust you and therefore continuously um, look to you when they're in need of something or they would like to have something that is, uh, that, you know, kind of you're associated with, they'll come back to you, all right? You don't want to get uh, caught up with scammy, you know, um, misleading products and services, right? Or something that just doesn't deliver on the value promised, okay? So that is it for today's Quick Tip Tuesday. You know, take advantage of both value and volume offers, you know, products and services, but always lead with value first because no matter if you have uh, 100 customers, um, going after a product, right? Um, but then you only have 10, but if it's something that is of value, those 10 customers will, co will continue to work with you and come to you as opposed to offering something that delivers li very minimal to no value at all um, from 100 customers. You might get some sales up front, but you'll never see none of those people return, okay? So just look into the, the offers and stuff like that. Lead with value. But don't, don't be afraid to go with some volume-based offers as well. That is it for today's video. I hope that you have gotten value from that. Um, if you have, hit that thumbs up button. Let us know you liked the video. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. There's a red button somewhere here below with the bell notification right next to it. Make sure you hit that so you don't miss when we upload new content. Follow us on all social media platforms at Revenue Pro Tips. And we will see you for next week's video. Peace.